The first day of the first full fleet week in three years was at least as big as before the pandemic. A full flotilla for the parade of ships from the Verrazano Bridge up the Hudson to the George Washington Bridge with crews saluting the World Trade Center site en route. And then most of the half dozen ships dropped anchor on Manhattan's west side piers. In fact, that ship is this one. Vessels like this one, the USS Bataan, look great on TV, but when you come in person, it's that much more impressive. Each of these vehicles is about the size of a box truck to give you some sense of scale. This is what you first see when you board this ship, which you can do through next Monday. It's all open to the public, who, after all, fund the military, and you get to meet the men and women who make it all work. So we can load passengers um, to either drop them off or pick them up. We can fit about 10 personnel in the back. Wait, yeah. what? You can get 10 people so. in here? Corporal Brian Castro is a Marine assigned to an aviation unit in the Carolinas, but... I'm from Queens, Sunnyside. He's a local, and everything he's doing on camera now is what he and hundreds of other military members will be doing for you in person. I'm from the Bronx, around Van Cortland, 242nd Street. Another local is Analia Perez. Here's what she wants local civilians like you to experience when you come visit her ship and other vessels. It's definitely worth it for people to see how we live and how we work on a daily basis. She, like most of the sailors on board, is by no means dressed in the kind of uniform you might associate with sailors. A person who is dressed in the sailor dress white uniform explains that it's because she's giving formal tours. Everyone else is, is still doing their normal job throughout the whole day. For their working uniform, they're going to wear their uh, camos or um, sometimes coveralls. Because life on board a ship can be dirty, you can experience it all firsthand through the Memorial Day holiday. It includes a wide variety of activities, including a naval dive tank right here in Times Square. James Ford, Pix11 News.